4K people. Back here getting out with our Linux from scratch install. Uh, before we left last time, we uh, did all the good stuff, extracted our package, bin utils, and all that stuff like that. Now, after we did our make and make install, on page 50 on the LFS 6.2 CD or LFS 6.2 PDF, um, that's where we are on page 50. So now we need to type in some commands. We're going to say make ld, which is our linker. We're going to make that clean. Hit enter. That's all done with. That's cool. Um, again, use the tab convention and use your backspaces and all that stuff like that. There's no need to write everything out. Okay. Like for instance here, uh, I'm going to omit clean and write in the rest of what I need to do. So you don't have to pound the keyboard word for word. Um, it's actually good sometimes too to hit the tab to make sure that um, what tab does is, is uh, selects uh, what if you have a path and for instance like with this if I type in TO and the tab key it's gonna tell me you know tools okay so it's the most likely result okay that's not gonna work all the time but uh, if you know where you're at you can use this convention to speed it up a little bit okay so I need to make or make in the, uh, the linker alright that's the lib path that's all the tools and everything else like that shoot this and this is gonna take uh, I don't know maybe three minutes or so and after this gets done we can move on so if you wanna read a little bit of uh, Linux from scratch um, I guess the the C switch uses um, with the LD linker links it clean tells to uh, make and remove all the files and compile files in the LD subdirectory all that good stuff that's done and that's cool we can check also and see what our usage is right now okay this is a good thing to do if you're SSHing, if you're not SSHing, this is a good thing to do. See what your um, RAM usage is. You see here I have 41 megabytes free. If you sync that, if that goes down to you know 2 or whatever like that, that, that means that um, your RAM's, you have a lot of system draw. If you have a lot of system draw, you're going to stop doing what you need to do. Your system's going to drop processes. And if you're trying to build something or make something and your system decides to drop processes, that could be a heck of a problem. And I had that problem. That's why I had 20 Linux from scratch installs and uh, five successes because I had a lot of draw on my system. So you want to keep that in mind. You can drop that. You can drop your cache um, directly to the kernel. And I'll show you how to do that after we get done typing in the rest of what we need to right here. So after that, you want to copy LD to LD new tab switch again. It's golden. Okay, tools tab switch. It's golden. Can't stress enough. Use your tab because your tab will keep you from typing. And if all you're doing is typing, and you can get around it. That's what you want to do. Okay, that's all done. That's cool. So what we want to do now is we want to remove the bin utils build directory and the bin utils directory itself but we do not want to remove the tar directory or the tar file okay so you see now where we are we're back up to our LFS sources okay and we want to type in remove uh, recursive verbose file verbose I'm going to type in bin utils or bin tab utils to that's it go to the next line okay we want to remove that I got a motorcyclist <laughs> what an idiot anytime you want to do something somebody's got to screw it up somewhere in the world <laughs> this is your bin utils directory that you want to remove and you're going to remove the bin utils build directory that you created to build your temporary uh, your temporary files, your packages. 
Okay, so you do that now. Solver boost, so you see it's removing everything. Uh, I hope you did not remove your tar GZ file because if you did, you need to go back on the other side and grab that and move it back over. And that's that. So now that's removed, everything's clean. We can check our usage again. Type free M. The M is for megablades, by the way. If you type in free, it gives you a whole bunch of jarble. Type in uh, G, maybe, okay, yeah, gigs. Well, there's not even a gig on the computer, so that's how that goes. Okay. Moving on, page 51, we'll say TAR, XVF, um, GCC, 403.tarbz. Do that, that's going to extract that. Okay. It's not going to take too long. Um, you can look at the system build units, which is 82 minutes. Uh, for me, that would be 82 minutes. Um, it's 8.2 SBU. So, that's how long this will take to go from start to finish. Uh, I'm not going to be doing 82 minutes of tutorial, but that's how long it's going to take. So, you know, you can, um, basically we extract a package and we go back into the, um, the extracted folder which is the same name of the folder uh, G G G G G C C G C C 403 with no appendix it's n you know, no tar and all that alright that's the G C C folder we go into there and from inside of there we uh, build a G C C build directory that actually equals out to be exactly where we are now all right. If you're confused about that, just take a minute and think about that. But um, that's where the build directory goes. So actually, the build directory is in the LFS sources. It's not actually in the GCC 403 directory. It's actually in the LFS sources. So just follow me. You get it. I got it. Okay. So now if we GCC or CD into GCC 403, okay, and we're going to say make directory, propose back up, <laughs> and we're going to call it GCC, let's get rid of the 403, and we'll type in build, that's created, now we're going to CD back up into the GCC build directory, okay. That's what it says to do in the book. That's what we're going to do for success. So now we say GCC-403 configure. You can use the tab switch on configure too, which is good. Okay. Prefix is tools directory. Now this escape character goes to the next line. Okay. But make sure you use the space and escape. Okay. If you don't use the space, you get problems. Okay. And the next line we're going to say on page 51 it says with local prefix equals tools space disable NLS enable shared and we're going to say enable uh, languages equals is equals C. Type enter and that's going to go ahead and configure. If you're not sure about what you're typing, um, I would recommend double checking it every line because you can screw up now and two hours down the road you're going to find out that you screwed up now. You don't want to do that. Okay? You do not want to do that. So after that's all configured and ready to go, um, we need to type in make bootstrap and what Bootstrap is, is compiles the heck out of it. Compiles like, uh, compiles it once, compiles it twice, compares it, compiles it again. It's like a three different uh, process for comp compilation. And that's what it tells us to do. This is going to take a while. So after I hit this, um, let it do its thing. I'm going to stop the video, pick up on the next one. For me, it's probably like two hours. For you, I don't know what it is. But, um,. I got a half a gig RAM, so for a half gig RAM, it's two hours. Okay? So I'll pick you up on the next one.